So today I wanted to make a video where I do the KonMari method to declutter my handbags. I've already spoken about the KonMari method in one of my previous videos. It's from the life-changing magic of tidying or the life-changing magic of tidying up, if you're from other countries. Um, and that's a book by a Japanese author, Marie Kondo. It's a method that's used for decluttering your home, where you sort through things by category, you gather everything from the same category in one place, pick each item up one at a time, decide does it spark joy, if it does you keep it, and if it doesn't then you get rid of it. So I read the book a few months ago, I've already used it for several categories, um, I did this before I started making YouTube videos, so I don't have any footage of that. Um, and I have kind of put off doing any videos because I felt like I was putting pressure on myself to be perfect at doing this. And I think a lot of people that use this method, they're just doing it to cut back on the stuff that they have. I've been speaking in my videos about minimalism and I think I was putting pressure on myself to go from having a lot of stuff to having hardly anything and I think at the end of the day minimalism isn't for most people something that you just achieve overnight. I think there's a process that you have to go through in a journey where you gradually cut down your amount of stuff until you get to that point of minimalism. And so, while I might start with a loss of things, I don't have to aim for getting rid of like 95% of it all in one go. It's okay to get rid of you know, 20% of it or 30% of it and then to cut it back a wee bit more from there and a wee bit more from there until I reach that point where I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to use this KonMari method as a way to get myself started. And so what I'm going to do now is I will gather all of my handbags together, put them on the bed and sort through them. Um, so I will see you in a minute when I have all of my handbags here and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so just to show you all, this is the handbags that I have at the moment and I count 27 handbags. And that includes down here I have two totes um, and they are ones that I uh, made myself. They're actually rather large. So this is what I'm starting with. And now what I'm going to do is sort through it and see which of them spark joy and which of them don't. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. So let me just show you, I have gone through all the bags and the ones down this side here are the ones that I've sorted out to get rid of. So there's eight bags there and the rest of them are ones that spark joy and I'm planning on keeping four just now. So that leaves 19 bags out of the original uh, 27. Although I have already got rid of, I think, at least 6 bags this year. So if you take the 6 that I already got rid of and the 8 that I'm getting rid of today, then that means that actually I've got rid of 40% from where I started, which isn't too bad. Um, I'll just show you, there's this bag here, um, 
this is one that I struggled with a lot and it's a Jessica Simpson bag I really like it I like the shape of it and the size of it and all the pockets and everything but the thing that doesn't spark joy for me is the zip and that's because while it is quite easy to open and close just now uh, when I've got stuff in it then I find the zip keeps um, how do you describe it? it it's really awkward and it will just it misses teeth so that you start to get holes in the zip and then you have to try and work it back together again and that just inspires frustration in me rather than joy and so I decided that I really have to get rid of it because I don't want to be frustrated by myself <laughs> so it's going um, the bag at the back here um, this was just a bag that I got free with a magazine so there was no problem parting with that this one I bought from Primark, so it hardly cost me anything and I used it all the time for work and now the handles are getting really worn, uh, they're cracking and the bag is getting quite dingy looking so I decided it's time to part with that one. This one it's just really not my style anymore. I bought it about 10 years ago and again it was something that I used all the time. So I don't have any problem parsing with that. And then there's just some fancy bags. Um, this one was actually the bag that I wore to my prom. Uh, not my prom, sorry, my um, graduation. And uh, I just don't think I'm going to use it again. Plus the strap's gone a wee bit funny. This one still has its original tag on it. I can see it cost me two pounds in a sale. Um, and then these couple of ones I think were actually presents. And I feel really bad getting rid of things that were presents, but I'm not using them, so I'm afraid I can't keep them anymore. And then from what's left, some things like the, um, the pink bag at the back there, that is stained because it's my gym bag. Uh, the other one at the back over here. Um, this one is the one that I use all the time for work. It's got lots of pockets on it, so it's really handy. Um, this is my kind of everyday bag. I have a thing for owls. And I got this bag in Melbourne, in Australia. And it's quite good because actually you can detach the flap and change it for a different pattern if you want. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that up on camera. Um, so I really like this bag and my boyfriend got me this bag which is supposed to be like a little owl as well and he gave that to me as a present when I came back from Canada last year from my month away. Um, this bag here I never really use. Oh, my camera light switching on. Yeah, I never really use that bag, but I absolutely love it. And I spent ages searching for it on eBay <laughs> until I eventually found one. And uh, the reason that I don't use it is because it's suede and I live in Scotland where it rains all the time. And Stephen and I are actually planning to emigrate to Australia, so I'm hoping that when we move there that uh, we'll be able to use it, or I'll be able to use it a lot more because the weather will hopefully be better. Uh, so that's why I'm hanging on to that one. Um, and this one here, uh, I absolutely love this bag. It's a really nice soft um, leather and the only problem with it is the lining on the inside of this pocket has kind of come away so I just need to see if I can fix that but other than that it's still in really good condition and I like the fact that you can kind of mash it up and put it in your luggage and everything and then you take it out and it's 
it's still absolutely perfect, so it's great for travelling with. Um, see, these two totes here, I wasn't even sure whether to include them in the video or not. They're actually bags that I made myself on my sewing machine. They're absolutely massive totes. I don't think you can even get the full size of them on the camera. Um, but yeah, I made them and I'm really proud of them because they're lined and everything. And uh, so they're really handy for if you're going shopping or something like that. So there you go. That is my purge for today. So eight bags going. That should free up a wee bit of space and then we'll see about cutting this down over time until I have less. So there you go. That's my KonMari purge of my handbags complete. I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get rid of more but I didn't think that I was going to get rid of massive amounts anyway. Um, there were some handbags that I thought I'd get rid of which I didn't and there were some handbags that I thought I would keep which I got rid of so that was surprising. Let me know what you thought of the video if you want to leave any comments or if you've got any questions for me let me know in the comment section below if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!